You're watching Chewing the Cup with Mike Benyamou and Lee Robertson. I'm not saying that I'm hungover, but I woke up this morning, no money in my wallet and fur in my mouth. That's just a Tuesday. Or any other day in the letter wise, but welcome to Chewing the Cud. What have you got for us this week, Lee? I've got some news about a film that has been turned into a musical. Oh. Well, on screen now you can see all the ways of getting hold of us. It's at the Cud TV on social media, where you can also follow us. The Cud.tv is our website, and on YouTube or podcast services, look for Chewing the Cud and hit subscribe. And there's the names of people who have commented or reached out on social media. Scroll across the bottom of the screen. It's over to Mike and the Buzz. You're like a sweet, don't you? <laughs> I do. What was the giggle for? I don't know. Like I do enjoy sweet. I like. I'm more of a. I'm more of a more of a maum. Mal, mal, mal. Um, yeah, I like to get a big bag of those and eat them until my jaw aches. <laughs> Which one do you go for first? I like the um, Coca Cola flavored ones. Cola flavored ones. Yeah, yeah. I like the strawberry ones. Okay. Um, I like the lemon ones. Oh no, they're and I like the last orange now. ones. I go cola cherry. I like the cherry ones. Because then don't... you get cherry cola as you. Oh, I don't like the. I don't like the. Tangy apple ones. I quite like the apple ones. No. 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 I'm not talking about Mao, so. No, we're not, are we no. not? No. Um, not this is not. a new story about Skittles. Poison. That's literally the story, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. Um, so this is a California man who's claimed Skittles contain a known toxin that makes it unfit for human consumption. What is that toxin? It's titanium dioxide. Oh, it doesn't sound good. Well, it sounds like that song, doesn't it? Titanium. Titanium, titanium is, a, is, a, is a metal. It's an element. Is it? Yes, and dioxide means it's been mixed with oxygen atoms. Not good for the human body. Well, it's potentially carcinogenic. Oh, what's carcinogenic? Gives you cancer. Oh! So potentially. 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 Um, Mars said in 2016 that it would phase out the use of titanium dioxide in its products over the next five years. And replace it with lead. <laughs> Which is far more palatable <laughs> on the system. <laughs> <laughs> Which so you know, I like I like a little story with a treat. So there you I'm go. not eating poison, Mike. What makes you think so My body is my temple. Old and crumbling. Yeah, and abandoned. <laughs> <laughs> Left to rot. <laughs> I'm not eating them. You're not? No. No. Because it's dangerous. It's not that dangerous. I mean, they're not. I mean, even before this, they were never. They were never the health food, <laughs> were they? Really? <laughs> well, they're colours. So yeah, the European Food um, Safety Authority have said that it's. Um, it could not rule out. It was toxic. Okay. Right, and the FDA say it's fine. Oh, okay. Right, so Americans say it's fine, and Europeans say, well, we can't prove it. So, but there's litigation ongoing, so we can't go too much into it. Um, but they have said that a lot, a lot of titanium dioxide can corrupt DNA. Oh. But it's a lot. Mmm. So yeah, you should be fine eating a, a Skittle. I'm, I'm not going to. Taste the rainbow, Lee. I don't want to taste the rainbow. Taste the rainbow. I don't want to taste the rainbow. <laughs> I don't want my DNA corrupting. <laughs> Any more than it Any more is. than it already is. Yeah. I, I, I've never been a big fan of Skittles anyway. Maybe not. They just like sugar. Sugar pills. They're flavoured. Not really. Yeah, I've just had a purple one. It tastes of purple. <sighs> Purple's a fruit. Yeah. Mm. Not fine. The morning meds, that. <laughs> Only there's a lot fewer tablets there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyway, moving on. Still staying with food, though. Okay. Okay. Have you ever, you know, we've covered stories before about people putting hands in a bank crisp and finding a potato? Yeah, I think I'm not. It, 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 I hope it's not the one that I think you're going to talk about because I'm going to vomit. <laughs> Well, I've hung up, so if you vomit, I'm going, I'm going as well. Um, this is about a woman. Basically, she's munching away. Nom, nom, nom. Crispy, crisp. <laughs> nom, nom, nom. It is. It's going to be in it. <laughs> and she went, oh, that's a spider that's been deep fried. Oh, no, that's OK. <laughs> I don't mind that. Well, what did you think it was? There's been a, one of a woman who mm. um, was having um, a chicken nuggets. Uh-huh. Chicken's head. <laughs> fried chicken's head. Oh, God, with a beak on it and everything. And that brings us to our story of the week. Oh, my God, <laughs> it's not, is it? No, it's not. No. Um, no, this is a story about Sabrina Hussain, 
who has vowed never to eat crisps again. <laughs> so, <laughs> but she still finished off that six pack. <laughs> right, so she was left throwing up in a bathroom after she discovered a cooked spider in a packet of crisps. Oh. The, <laughs> the thing is, that look on that kid's face is, I put that in there. He, he's like laughing. He's like, yeah, you fell for that one. Yeah. Where um, is the spot? Where is it? Oh, no, there it is. See? So if you look at the crisp and then hanging down. Oh, God, a leg. <laughs> oh, that's disgusting. Yeah. She so said she found something stringy hanging from one of the crisps, right? And the, the Only after she'd consumed the entire pack. <laughs> <laughs> Did so she go, oh, that's a bit weird. Oh. <laughs> um, yeah, it, it shows that the, the spider obviously met its grisly fate being cooked with a batch of cheese and onion crisps. Um, she's actually said that um, finding the spider was karma for eating crisps for breakfast. Wow. So, yeah. Um, but if you find something interesting in the packet, or just find something interesting, why not share it with us? We are at the Could TV on all your social media outlets. That brings us nicely to our story of the week. Have you ever been eating a box of chicken nuggets and found a chicken tender? <laughs> <laughs> no. No, lie, a full chicken head dipped in butter. No, no, no. Because I'm going to hurl it and, and it, it's triggering. Because I saw the picture and I was like, what is, oh my God, it's an actual head with an eye and a beak and it's everything. And it was it's horrible. Cold. Yeah, it was horrible. <laughs> it was, oh. Was it a breaded or a battered chicken nugget? I think, I think it was battered. Because <laughs> that makes a big difference. <laughs> She was <laughs> holding it. Oh! <laughs> but this isn't about that Oh, thank story. God for that. Uh, <laughs> um, it is. Um, this is a story about um, Oxford students who have set up a campaign to remove a statue. Oh, OK. OK. Um, basically, outside of the London... Um, Col Imperial College London. Yeah. What was the, that? The Imperial College London. So it's an Anthony Gormley statue. I'm aware of his work. He's a man that does the man with the sea in there. Mmm. Waves coming towards the men in the sea. Yeah. Yeah. That's Beans. What. Very big hard nipples. Did you Not him. <laughs> Did you but... go up to the... <laughs> oh, obviously, that's what area. Yeah. I, I, <laughs> I, I particularly enjoy when somebody's dressed one of them up. <laughs> <laughs> well, they are nude. They are nude. And it can get chilly. Yeah. You don't want to... Yeah, anyway. Um, but yeah. The, they said the Anthony Gormley statue um, is phallic. Okay. So if you have a look, that's what they're saying is phallic. A lot oh, of okay. A lot okay. of boxes. I can't see anything phallic. I, I mean, it, it, it could be somebody carrying a, um, a box. I don't see how it's phallic. Well, it could be. It looks like, it, you know, if you head, shoulders, arms, legs. Oh, right, as in the, the box at the top is the, the head. Oh, pardon me, yeah. So the box at the top is the head. Yeah. And then it's, oh, that's a body. And then, oh, I see. It doesn't, I mean, impressive if it was. Why are they upset? Because apparently they don't want a big cock outside the college. Well, try it. <laughs> you might like it. You might like it. <laughs> Do you know <laughs> what? Some people. He described the sculpture as a figure balancing on the balls of their feet while squatting on his haunches and surveying the world. With his big cock out. <laughs> Would it be better if it was a big vagina? I don't know. I don't, I don't really see it as a, that phallic. It's just, yeah. 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 Should they not be studying rather than worrying about what's going on outside? Is this what's the matter with society today? <laughs> Spend your student loans. Pot noodles. Instead of learning. <laughs> what's this? Getting yourselves all worked up about big cocks. No. Just learn. <laughs> So they're saying that the, uh, the phallic interpretation may be seen as exclusionary due to the gender ratio of students and staff at the university. Well, then do another one with with a, with a with a big pair of tits and a fanny. It's it just just oh I don't really understand the world today. I don't. <laughs> what next to it? We're yeah, going to be putting the phallic bit between the boobs. Oh well, then that would be upsetting for somebody, wouldn't it? <laughs> People just that do don't like one. a titwank. <laughs> <laughs> just do another one somewhere else. With, 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 with female genitalia or, or trans genitalia. Just do it for everything. Make all the statues in the world. <laughs> Gone on a rant. You have. I have. This is quite fun. It is, yeah. Yeah. 
So yeah, he, he gifted the studio, the studio, he gifted the um, sculpture to the university. Um, Hate it when they gift you a massive cock statue and nobody wants you to put it up. I've, I've had a pound for every time. <laughs> <laughs> full of cock statues. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Anyway, that's on that, that bombshell about you having a garage full of cock statues. That's all from the buzz this week. Well, thank you for that, Mike. I, I, and if anybody is interested in a massive cock statue, please get in touch. But yeah, coming up next, we've got Lee in the showbiz. <laughs> You're watching Chewing the Cud with Lee and Mike. Now let's get ready for the amazing showbiz with Lee. Spaffy mouth there, dear. No, it's a little itchy. A little itchy. Uh, Herpes. Yeah. First bit of shepherd's <laughs> news this week. Homosexual TV producer has a garage full of massive metal cocks. Oh, metal. Mm. Not stone. Stone. It was That was the word I was trying for. <laughs> I like to vary my art, so you see. But it's, no. And no. Yeah. The, the first is it Eamon Holmes? <laughs> my art is my art Eamon Holmes. Not the, the person with the, the cocks in the... Oh, okay. Um, no. Philip Schofield. Brian, Brian McFadden. No. <laughs> Brian Blessed. Uh, no, Brian McFadden. Hello, <laughs> I'm Brian Blessed. I have a giant cock collection. Who was the uh, little Irish gay one that won Big Brother and then was a television presenter? Brian. Brian. Brian Brian. Brian Brian Brian. <laughs> anyway, that's, yeah. that's by the by. Um, we've, got, we've got a new musical coming. Eventually. Oh. Oh. Coming to us. It's in America at the moment. Okay. So, The Devil Wears Prada, the musical. Oh. Has been created, Ooh. and, and it, is, it is currently playing in Chicago, the, that's the Windy music. City. So it's different musical, that though. Yeah, it? yeah. There's a picture of the actual original film poster uh -huh. with Anne Hathaway and um, uh, Eartha and, Kitt. And Eartha Kitt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, Meryl Streep. Meryl Streep. Um, yeah. yeah, massive, massive with the gays. There's the. Uh, there's <laughs> <laughs> so massive you couldn't remember it. <laughs> <Yeah. name. laughs> that's the poster for the actual musical. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, it's based on, on the I mean, whole. That's, that's the Devil's Wear Prada, the Musica. The Musica. Is that is that cool? Is that a cool way of saying Musica. it? Musica. Musica. Perhaps it's French or something Italian. I don't know. Um, so yeah, it's all it's based on the film. I'm not sure whether I, I'm not sure whether it would be any really good or not. I don't really know. I, the film films that translate into musicals. Mm, we've had we've had Lion King. Lion King. Legally Blonde. Uh -huh. Ghost. Back to the Future. Back to the Future. Yeah. We Will Rock You. Shrek. All those. Yeah. Um, Shrek, Shrek for the musical. Yeah, Shrek became a musical. Yeah. Um, Sister Act. Yes. Interesting enough, the Sister Act doesn't use any of the music from the films because they're not allowed. They have to write their own score. Okay. Mm. Um, anyway. Is the score a drugs term? The score of the film, the, of the musical, is film score, musical oh, okay. score. If you want to score some. Molly, later, then just, just ask. Just come up What to is me. Molly? Molly is, um, um, <laughs> I think it, I think it's, I think it's... She's going to sit me Lucas aid. I think Molly is ecstasy. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Talking of drug taking, uh -huh. uh, Elton John has written the, the musical. <laughs> it's not that Elton that John was... takes drugs. Well, he did. Well, a long time ago. A long time long ago. Time. But it was, it was a seamless. He's got better now. He's, yeah, he yeah. doesn't take them now. That's a bit of natogen. Get his bones going. It's um, <laughs> he's <laughs> cod liver oil. He's written the. He's written the. <laughs> he's written the songs and all that kind of stuff. Okay. Mm, so yeah, after after it kind of was like ready to go, and then the pandemic hit. Right. They postponed it. It's now in Chicago until kind of sort of like September time. Okay. Then it's going to Broadway, and then I would imagine it probably will come over to the West End at some point. I'm not, I'm not sure whether did you would you in. I'll have a go. If someone pays yeah, for the tickets. Somebody pays for the tickets. Yeah. You get a free ticket. Yeah, if you get a free ticket. And yeah, we don't really know who's going to be the cast, um, but they tend to kind of use different people in different countries, don't they? So yeah, go see that. How, how long ago did um, the movie come out? Two thousand six. Nearly twenty years. I know. Can yeah. you believe it? I can. Mm. Long time ago. Long time ago. Stanley Tucci. 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 Yeah. I don't know how you say his name. Tucci. You have a thing for him, don't you? I do. He plays gay in a lot of films, but he's not a gay. He was in, I was watching Holston the other day. Oh, he's in that, isn't he? Is he? Hot, yeah. Loves it. Can't get enough. Anyway, let's move on. Um, 
Kate Moss uh, offers advice to younger generations. I don't like Kate Moss. Oh, a bag she, of bones, isn't she? She came out with that stupid quote, nothing tastes as good as skinny feels. Oh, Someone give her an eclair, because eclairs yeah. take amazing. Can you believe she's got a daughter yeah. who's like a teenage model? Um, yeah, so, she, so Kate Moss has shared some, they would say legendary model. Kate Moss yeah. has shared some of her unfiltered advice to younger generations of fashion <laughs> lovers. So not like that photo. No. <laughs> That's her daughter. Um, and so in, in, in an interview with British Vogue, what she said is kind of like she's passing on her information um, and advice to the younger generation. She's got a daughter who's 19 years old called Lilla, Lilla Grace Moss, who is also a model. Lilla Grace. Lilla Grace Moss. So she's kind of like saying that she goes to to, uh, to a wardrobe to get her clothes out, but there's no, none of them there because her daughter's stolen them all. Okay. Um, however, she's kind of like, she said, she's given some advice to my daughter because a daughter came across... <laughs> Go um, to my wardrobe one more time, I'm going to slap I'm you. I'm going to cut you. <laughs> um, she <laughs> she said... she said spanks down. She said, well, she said, I, she said, I feel that the younger generation are too prudish nowadays. She, she compared to her day. So she had a daughter asked her about wearing um, a, a see-through top uh -huh. and whether she should wear nipple pasties. Okay. And she's something you always ask your mother, isn't it? Do you know where nipple pasties, Mum? Or just let them hang out? <laughs> um, and, oh, that was one of my nipples falling on the floor. Um, she... <laughs> one of your nipples <laughs> falling on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> Not wearing her pasties. So she said, She said, should she wear nipple pasties with a sheer top? To which Kate said, never wear a pasty. That's my advice to the younger Every generation. You Let your pasty, nipples I free. Think, I keep thinking of pasty. you in pasty. Yeah, so it's like, a pasty. Should so I put like a little corn plaster over your pasty. nipple. Yeah. Ooh. Um, <laughs> yeah. She, I mean, she's been around for donkey's years, hasn't she? Yes. Do you remember when she, she did the kind of Marky Mark... Thing, I do. Um, for Calvin Klein. She's recently said that was an absolute nightmare. We've got a picture. I mean, he, he yeah, was... Yeah, that looks hellish. It was, but apparently he was oh. an absolute tool. Well, yeah, he's my um, he And made her feel really bad about herself. Um, at the moment... That's, I still had a go. Oh, he's a, he's a notorious homophobe, isn't he? Which tells you. Mm. You're saying about people at homophobe. Pinky. Mm. No, 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 no. The fact that they want it. Oh, okay. It's like trying to get as far away from what they want as possible. Oh, okay. That's what uh, I tell them anyway. So yeah, so she's at the moment mm -hmm. she's she, she's done the high, she's done everything. She's done Gucci, she's done Prada, she's gone Dutch, she's gone banana, Dolce and banana. I love Dolce <laughs> and banana. <laughs> Versace, all of those. Versace, it's pronounced Versace. <laughs> top top designers. Now she's 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 modelling Diet Coke. Yeah, so she is she is um she's apparently. Does she think she's Madonna? Diet Coke's creative director. Something odd about this photograph. There's too many hands. Yeah, there's three <laughs> hands. What is going on? And they're all coming from different angles. Angles, yeah. So it's called What Love What You Love campaign, which has been launched to coincide with the, the drink's 40th and 40, 40 years of Diet Coke. Okay. And that's... still I'm fat. What's going on? <laughs> it doesn't count if you drink it through a sausage roll. <laughs> Use it as a magic. sauce on everything. <laughs> um, yeah, so. it's low calorie, not the cream that you have on top of it. Oh God, it's, it's homophobic. Yeah. So yeah, so, so <laughs> she's like, Coke is homophobic. Yeah, then if I drink it, why am I still fat? Because you're eating. And with why a, am I still old? You drink it's not it with fair. a cake. No, with a Sara Lee frozen gatto. Nom, 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 nom. Serves eight, we'll see. And this will cancel it all out. <laughs> yeah. Glug, glug, glug. Um, yeah. yeah. So, I'll have a super-sized Big Mac meal, please. Uh, and with a Diet extra, Coke. With three apple pies <laughs> and a Diet Coke. Because <laughs> it negates all the calories. That's the, that's the yeah. So, why yeah. does Diet Coke need a creative director? Cause, they've cause had the same can for years. Because she's a skinny years. bitch, that's why. Because that, yeah. So, so, yeah, she can be seen posing with all sorts of designed Diet Coke Limited edition cans. Who cares oh, about a limited psychic. edition can? Um, yeah. So um, with her signature on the bottom of it, who, who cares? Who cares? Who cares? <laughs> oh, let's go to something a little bit more interesting for the gays. Okay. <laughs> a little bit more. So, so you you were a big fan of Kath and Kim, weren't you? Um, a little bit. Little bit. Little bit. Um, little bit. Boy. Little boy. Little, little, little boy. Little boy. Oh um, it's coming back f after 15 years for a 20th anniversary episode. Um, this is the original cast mm -hmm. of Kath and Kim. Um, <laughs> him with the with the bangs. Kel. To his forehead. Yeah, cult comedy. Kind of was a cult comedy. It I think was. it was the show on BBC Two when yeah. it originally first... Wait, um, so I watched it in Australia when it was... <laughs> Um, when it first came out, as in Australia, it came out, and I watched it there. It was 
but it's hilarious, mm. right? And then, like, four years later, it came to the UK. Yeah, 2002 to 2007. Yeah. Um, set in Fountain Lakes, a fictional uh -huh. suburb of Melbourne. 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 No, Burn. Burn. It's All right, like, Australian boy. No, it's like when, when Americans come over and go, oh, let's go to Leicestershire. Oh, okay. Or wash your sister's sauce. Sorry, for, excuse me for being well brought up. Thank um, you. Yeah. So, <laughs> follow the day-to-day -day lives of Kath, Day Knight, uh -huh. and her self-indulgent daughter, Gina Riley. No, that's the actress who played her. Yeah. Him. Yeah. So we've got a picture here of the actors out of character, in character, and out of character, uh -huh. um, to kind of like you can so, so yeah, they look completely the same. No, they don't. They look completely different. Um, so plot details have been kept under wraps. Okay. But the Sydney Morning Herald says that it's something around Kath's daughter Kimberly Day uh -huh. and her butcher husband Kel are going to be returning to it but pat that's about as much as they're, they're kind of willing to to kind Which, of go I, I want i don't want spoilers i want to watch it and let just it want to sure. watch it yeah, yeah. they were it was funny it's they hilarious. did a film i think they did a they couple, did a couple of, films. of films yeah they did the um kath and kim code yes which is da vinci code yes um they did the um the one where we went to rome finger shuffle finger shuffle yeah Kath and Kim finger each other in Rome. Yes, that's it. Oh, okay. Nice. Um, so, yeah, and, and famously, Kylie starred in it. Recreated the... As the, Rye. As Rye. 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 <laughs> and as, at, at the wedding. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, great. So that's something to look forward to, isn't it? Yes. Forget about Kate Moss's skinny tins. <laughs> and let's go straight for... <laughs> Kate Moss's skinny tins. Put a pasty over them. Um, and let's wait for, for, for Kath and Kim. And that's the end of this week's showbiz news. Wow. I was going to go, that's great. But didn't think what it. was that? That's great. You know, you're true. True. Yes, true. I'm Kath and Kim, you don't. I don't know that. Uh, no. 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 That's very niche. But stick around, because coming up next, we have our Game of the Week. <laughs> you're watching Chewing the Cud. This week, we're going to play Tenorman. And this one is for the practically perfect in every way, except every way that counts, Lee. So, off your pup. It's like I. Shigar. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Game of the Week. So, this is where I'm going to give you a, some, a topic, and you have to list the 10 things that are on this card. I'm Let's... aware of the yeah. method. All right, okay. Just less of a game, more of a telepathy test. Okay. Okay. So the first topic, and you have six three seconds to go through, are supermarket chains. Go. Tesco. Yes. Asda. Yes. Sainsbury's. Yes. Waitrose. Yes. Co-op. Yes. Oh. Um. Spa. No. Oh. Um. Um. Morrison's. Yes. I can't think of any more. I can't think of any more. Um, Would you like a hint? Yes. That's a shame. I got six. This I'm... isn't just a game. This is Marks and Spencer. There we go. Marks and Spencer. That's seven. Uh huh. Um, Iceland. Not on the list. Um, I think um, old shops. Fresh farm. Farm fresh. I think red and white. Red and white. Quick save. Yes. Do the quick save still exist? Well, they do on this card. Oh, okay. Um, booths. No. Oh. If te if quick saves on there, booths isn't going to be on there, is it? <laughs> oh, time's up. Oh, which two did I miss out? So you could have had budgeons. 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 Um, Summerfield. Oh yeah. Budgeons. Yeah. Budgeons, yeah. That doesn't even exist Not anymore. I'll just quick save. Anyway. Um. Your next topic, should you so wish you're going to have to do it, is Alton Towers Rides. Oh, God. Oh. The Teacups. No. Um, R Rita, Queen of Speed. Rita, yes. Barbara, no. Bit of Molly. No. Um, the Wicker Man. No. The, 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 um, the, the Corkscrew. No. <sighs> um... Oblivion. Yes. Um, the the railway train. No. The runaway train. No. Um, 
Um, I've not been to there for like 30 years. How many years? 30. Oh, I thought you said a different number then. Um, um, so a different number that I thought was thir not 30. The, um, the, are the teacups not on there, are you sure? I'm sure. The swans. I thought you said something other than 30. What do you think I heard you say? 30. No, so not 30, but it sounds like 30. It's also a number with a three in it. Rhymes with 30. 30 rhymes with 30. 30 flirty. 30. Turkey. Turkey plus one. Curd. I don't know. 12 plus one. 13. Yes, that's an answer. Um, I don't know. I don't do rhymes. Uh, yeah, so you could have had Air, the River Rapids, Jewel, you got Nemesis Oblivion, Ripsaw, you got Rita. Rita. Sonic Spinball. No. 13, which you eventually got. And the Smiler. Oh right, I don't, I don't like them. You don't like rides. I don't like scary rides. Okay. You didn't say scary rides. rides. They should have other teacups on there. They're lovely. My favourites. No, I, I'm not allowed on the teacups because I spin it. They, 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 they don't. Uh, that, that's Blackpool stupid gallery. <laughs> Cat and mouse. That's what the gallery said. Mm -hmm. like, stupid gallery. It sounds like thirty. <laughs> it has a three in it. <coughs> it rhymes with 13. I was like, no, th nothing rhymes with 30. That's 13 another number. does. 13, 30. No. Things that smell good. Go. Me. No. Oh. Um, grass. I'm going to accept. Cut grass. Cut grass. Weed. No. no. Um, perfume. Yes. Aftershave. No. The smell of a freshly washed taint. Yes. Oh. No. Uh, <laughs> Um, baking bread. Yes. That's not a euphemism. It's is not. It? Um, um, cookies. Uh, nope. A hint, 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 hint. Cakes. Tea. No. Coffee. Yes. Um, things that smell nice. Do, do, do. Things that's, um, uh, air, uh, air, air freshener. No. No. Um, 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 blood of my victims under my feet. No. No. Um, uh, cooking food like a like a barbecue. What kind of food would you cook on a barbecue? A, 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 a boiga. Right. A shushing. Oh. Uh, okay. So you could have had bacon. Oh. Um, cinnamon. Cinnamon. You got bread. You got coffee. Eventually, you got grass. Flowers. Oh. Lavender. Oh. Lemons apparently smell good. Uh, you got perfume and vanilla. Vanilla. Yeah. Takes me back to that freshly washed taint. Okay, your next one is on apple recipes. What? Apple recipes, go. Apple recipes? Yes. Apple crumble? Yes. Apple pie? Yes. Apple turnover? <laughs> yes. Apple strudel? Yes. Ooh, I'm on a roll. <laughs> Come on, keep going. That's all I know. <laughs> apple, apple. Think, think of slutty apple. Slutty apple? <laughs> yes. Poor apple. No. <laughs> sticky, sticky toffee pudding. Uh, sticky, <laughs> sticky toffee apple. Toffee apple. Toffee yes. apple. Yes. Um, apple salad. Fruit salad. No. <laughs> apple. Shut it, you. Slag. <laughs> Another word for slag. Sl apple slag. <laughs> Another word for slag. Another word for slag. Yeah. Apple slot. No. Apple tart. <laughs> apple tart. Yes. <laughs> right. Squished. Squished. Oh. So apple you got puree. So yeah, apple cake oh. was an option. Um, apple chutney. Oh. You got chutney. crumble pie strudel tart eventually. Apple turnover. Apple sauce, baked apples. Oh, apples. okay. You did really well with that. I food, did quite didn't well you? on that. Yeah. Surprisingly, it's food. Yeah. <laughs> Next one. <laughs> Next one, we're going to talk about things that are sticky. You've got a minute. Go. Oh, um, glue. Yes. Um, 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 tar. No. Um, sticky tape. Yes. Um, um, Boogie, uh, buggers. No. No. Boogie buggers. Um, <laughs> Boogie, but that's um, not. Um, blood. No. <laughs> blood of my victims. Congealing. No. Oh, do you think? Um, yeah, no. <laughs> um, 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 
it's sticky. What else is sticky? Velcro. Fruit squish. Fruit squish. Squish squish. Fruity Fruit squish. squish. Fruity squish. Yeah, on toast. Mm. Jam. Jam. Yes. Oh, jam honey. No. Uh, peanut butter. No. Beanie, 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 beanie butter. Um, um, <laughs> um. What, what else? I'm gonna go with you know secretions. No. Bodily secretions. Doing McDonald's secretions. No. No. Um, um. Things uh, you have in your handbag. What do I have in my handbag? Yeah. It's not for you to know. Um, chewing gum. Yes. Oh. Um, this is time's up. <laughs> Could what else was there? Boiled sweets. Because I thought you might have a word that's in your bag because you're that kind of age. Um, chewing gum, glue, jam, price labels. Oh. Stamps. Oh. Uh, you got tape, toffee, treacle, and wallpaper paste. Oh, AKA spunk. The reason why none of your wallpaper stays up. <laughs> okay, so I've, I've, I've purposefully not picked these, honestly. You've got 60 seconds to talk about dairy products. Go. Ice cream. Yes. Um, milk. Yes. Cheese. Yes. Between milk and cheese, you've got... Cottage cheese. Yogurt. Oh, yes. Yogurt. You've got yogurt, yes. Cottage cheese? Yes. Fromage free? Yes. Oh, what so, else? So, really, really thick. Greek yogurt. No. In a tin. Condensed milk. Yes. Um, lollipops. No. Milk lollies. No. Lactic acid. No. I don't know. You have it on your burritos. Butter. Butter. You just got butter. I'll give you butter. Um, that's not what I was thinking about oh, on your burritos, though. Cheese. Butter. So you had cheese. So butter, cheese, clotted cream, condensed milk, cottage cheese, creme fraiche. I said creme fraiche. Did you? Creme fraiche. Fromage fray. Oh, I might have said fromage fray. Yeah. Ice cream, milk, and yogurt. Oh, I did come on. Yeah, quite well. We're doing quite well on the foodie ones. Yeah, surprisingly. Yes. Well, that was fun, wasn't it? Yes. That's one of those rhetorical questions you don't need an answer to. But stick around, because after this we've got Crafty Queens. Kill me. <laughs> Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. And now it's time we go to the segment of the show. One person called, oh my god, why, please make it stop. It's Crafty Queens. Before I go ahead with the activity, I just want to point out that I've had a slight accident with my tabard um, and I have I have lost the C. So it's basically Rafty Queens. Okay. Rafty Queens? Scooby Dooish. Well, I think we can all all confirm that you are a big C. Thank you for that. Can you imagine, Mike, what would happen if, inconceivable as it may seem, the internet went down, the television masts just stopped working, all forms of entertainment just stopped. When you say all forms of entertainment, does that include masturbation? Uh, well, imagine you wank yourself dry and there's nothing left inside. Not happened yet. Mm. Well, we're gonna go, we're gonna go back in time okay. to, 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 to my childhood. A.K. the Victorian era. Are you when saying, whoa, whoa, whoa! You're, you're making yourself younger. And yeah, well, you know, everyone shaves off a few decades. Um, right. Where we didn't have things such as televisions, moving Correct. picture houses. They they had to find other ways of making interesting things to fill their time. And today we're going to make something like the called a, what? Like the workhouse. Yeah, um, yeah. Dead by twelve. Live young, die hard. That didn't sound right. No, you sort of went around. Live hard, die young, that kind of stuff, yeah. yeah. We're going to make a thaumatrope. Well, and is that the word you have written down in front of me? It is the word that I have written down in front of me, for I could not remember it. Uh, a thaumatrope, which is a magical thing that has two images on either side of it, but when you spin it round, it looks as if the, the two images have merged together. <gasps> How does it do that? It, I, just with the, with the eye. Your eye cannot differentiate that kind of stuff anyway that's for you that's for science not me um you have it in front of you you have a a, a card a card disc mine is in pink yours is in yellow uh-huh okay you've also got two little pieces of round paper 
Uh huh. Take one of your pieces of paper, and you have chosen. You had the choice of either fish or fowl, and you chose no, bird. I just, no, no, no. You said to me, do you want chicken or bird? Like on some sort of really cheap Ryanair flight. Chicken where or do bird? Chicken. I said fish or bird. Same thing. <laughs> um, so you chose. You chose bird. I did. Okay, so what you're going to do with your selection of pens that you've got in front of you, on the first white disc, yeah. you're going to draw a cage. I have given you a, a, a bird cage. I've, I've given you like a, a, a an image just to kind of jog oh, your memory. Okay, okay. I'm going to do a, a goldfish bowl. Oh, okay. So that's what you do. You can draw, draw it, you know, decent. <laughs> Sorry, the air got let out of me then. Um, a, a relative, quite a decent, <laughs> quite a decent size. So I need to draw a cage. Yeah. Just like the one you've already given me a picture of. Yeah, if you, you can draw it like that if you want to. You don't have to. I was just, I was just giving you a little. Oh yeah. Like that, you mean? No, no, you can't do it. You know, you actually have to draw it on the piece of paper. You can't just stick what I've given you on because that won't work. AKA. Embassy. It's too quick if you do it that way, Mike. I'm going to draw a little goldfish. And I can all, I'll keep stabbing myself with a pen. An old fish, go, oh, an old fish bowl. A goldfish bowl. And I'm going to add some um, little stones. Oh, everything's falling over. It could be as detailed or as simple as you want. I'm going to. I'm going to add a little bit of. Um, I'm going to add a little bit of uh, weed, a plant. <laughs> so not actually some weed. So it's, you know, so my picture. Okay. My goldfish bowl. How are you doing with yours, man? I'm doing very... I've gone a little bit off piste. Have you? Yeah. Because I was inspired by the yellow. It was oh, my pen doesn't work. I hate I might it when your pen doesn't work. Mesh. When I was a child, if I was doing my colouring in with my felt tips, uh -huh. if one of the felt tips had dried out... Yeah. I used to lick it, lick the nib. I can believe that. Because if you lick the nib, quite often it would it would bring it back to life. No. Oh. So. Just if, if you're at home, you're going, oh, is that what, don't, just don't. The solvents in pens and stuff. Not in, not in the 70s and 80s, they weren't. Okay. Um, just lead. Lead and abestos. Lead and um, what? <laughs> What else was in there? Lead, abestos. Abestos? What's abestos? Lamidamide. What's abestos? Drugs. Yeah, What's abestos. What's abestos? Abestos. Ass. Bestos. Abestos. No, ass. Asbestos. I don't want to say it like that. Well, I want to say the word that you I don't want to say the actual word, Mike. I want to make up my own word for something completely different. Abestos. Asbestos. <laughs> doesn't sound right, asbestos. But no, it is. But the best us. Not the best us. Best us. It's not the best of anything. The best of us. Anyway, right. So I've drawn my I've drawn my goldfish bowl. Yep. Okay. So now you're going to take your second circle. But what you've got to do is you've got to make sure, right? Mm -hmm. So that when you draw, so turn your um, first picture over but upside down. Yeah, and just put that to one side, because because what you're going to do is when you stick it on. Yeah. Your drawing from the other has to be the other way around, upside down. Okay. So just draw a bird. Okay. Okay. And I'm going to... I'm going to draw a goldfish. Yeah. What she said on the thing that I, I, wrote, I read, what I watched. So I'm going to... And then a few little burp. There we go. Right. Okay, have you drawn your bird? I have drawn a bird. You have it, right. So get your um, cardboard disc. Yeah. Uh -huh. And on one side, glue on your cage, your picture with your cage. Okay. You want to try and get it as, as, as accurately in the middle as you can. If you were taking this really seriously, you'd measure it. I'm not. And I can't be asked. You're not taking Crafty Queens really seriously. No. Guess what? Nobody does. Nobody does. Nobody does. So, so once you've done that, what you've got to do is you've got to glue your other, you like your bird on the other side, but you've got to glue it upside down. The bird's upside down, but try and match the circles when you glue them together. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Now then, what you need to do is you need to make 
a hole, two holes. In the side of your temples. Either side <laughs> of your circle. So I'd, okay. I'd put it, perhaps put it over, mm, might have put mine the wrong way around, but we'll see. So um, let's put a, a hole. Hole at either side in the middle of the... Just a hole. Yeah, just a hole. Just, just enough hole, to get sir. some string through. Be very, you should, I mean, if you had a hole punch, it would be better, but we don't. We do. Hey, right. I've got hacking away there with a the scalpel. Yes, I'm, I'm fine. I'll, I'll be done in a second. You just keep talking. Um, you're going to thread your you're going to thread your string through. Okay. You're going to do it so that it loops through, and you can kind of make a so put it in half like that. Yeah. How long does it take to just put a couple of holes? Okay. How long, How long does, it... does it take with a knife? So, yeah. Without Get break, a little bit of string. Putting my fingers open. Yeah, throw it through. Hold it. Put, fold it in half. Put the folded end through first. And then th thread the ends through the loop. So. Got it like that. So then, this is when the magic happens. Because... I'm going to twirl this on camera and magically, in front of the viewer's eyes, the goldfish will appear in the goldfish bowl. Are you ready, viewers? Oh. I think you might have to kind of like wind it up. And then. <laughs> did it do it? I think it did it. Let me let me uh, let me really really wind it up. Like really really wind it up. Like really really. Got, got to get that tension. Yeah yeah, that was a good idea. Yeah. It's not doing anything. Hey okay, right, it's for me. <gasps> Do you see? Oh, it needs to go faster. But I think I think I think the idea is there. This is why Victorians died before they were thirty because there was nothing else going on. They died <laughs> of boredom. Horrible string-related twisting <laughs> accidents. Mine's. Really? Why have you drawn a ghost? I've done pack pack my beanie by a ghost. Oh, I'm gonna have one more go because it will work eventually. Right. You see, I know when people have done this in the past, they've used rubber bands. Yeah, but I didn't want to because then you can build up the tension. And yeah. Pull it oh, it was a nice idea, but you know. We weren't expecting much. It's Crafty Queens. Anyway, remember the, <laughs> remember the motto? If you can't get any peen or any vagine, and you won't doing this, be a Crafty Queen. That's almost the end of the show for this week. Don't forget that you can follow us on our social media, at The Cud TV. Our website is thecud.tv. And of course, on podcast providers, just search for Chewing The Cud. So glad that's funny. But thanks for watching. I will see you all soon. Bye. Bye.